Okay, it's April 3rd again. I usually don't do two videos back to back like this, but it's important that I get this one out because I couldn't get everything in my last video. Um, I want to say, um, even though I put it in the description box, thank you to everyone that prayed for me. Um, my 102 fever broke. Um, I think I'm running a slight one now, um, but I can deal with that. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, so thank you for everyone that prayed. Um, I have to mention something which is really going to set a lot of people into um, probably getting turned off from this video. And that's okay. I wanted to tell you that um, this digital currency, this digital rollout system, the New World Order system that is coming into play 100% deals with the Mark of the Beast. People are wondering, how does this tie into it? Why is this such a big deal? Well, because it gets people used to the scanning. Boop, the Wi-Fi scanning or the, the scanning of something without a payment. Okay, and once they get used to that, what happens is that gets links to your C passport or um, the mark. Because what happens is that the government has complete control. They can turn off your transactions. They know every single transaction that you do. I'm talking about everything. There is nothing. You're not going to even be able to buy without cash. Okay. Well, cash is going to be obsolete, which means you're not going to be able to do a transaction without this digital currency. And you can't do it without the government knowing. Okay, and that's the exact same thing as the mark. Now, I'm going to read you some scriptures. Um, many people have asked this question, just like my son tonight. We had a very long Bible study. It was amazing. Very proud of him and um, my little brother. So he asked, can you be a Christian get, and, you know, become saved? And then you go to take the mark of the beast and will you go to heaven? And I said, no. And he said, why not? Well, I, I absolutely have to read you guys and get you to um, be able to understand this. That the mark, once you take it, you're done. There is no more chances after the mark. Okay? Um, and Revelation 13, 16 says, He causes all, okay, which is, means all people, uh, both small, which is little kids, and great um um, rich and poor, free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. And if you've looked at other countries, they already have the palming system. Amazon has that and they've already just launched it. They're first person to be able to do their palm and buy things. Okay. And that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is the wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Okay. We know that the AI system, the computer system, everything that's linked, the receipts that you use, all of it is digitalized and linked to the number 666. So this digital system that is going to be into play will no longer be on a card instead they're going to that what do you think they have that little microchip in there for you think about it it has a wi-fi symbol right now there's a card for it with the wi-fi next they're going to downsize and just put the chip with all your information on your palm scan okay now that still didn't answer people's questions right but you're not going to be able to buy sell or trade you are literally going to be worthless without this mark, okay? Now, what happens is this, okay? And another angel followed saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city because she has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Now, we know Mystery Babylon obviously is America, on August 21st, 2017, there was an eclipse that went from uh, Oregon down to the Carolinas. And now there's going to be one on August 8th going the opposite way, New York down. And it make, marks a big old X over America. Babylon the Great, Mystery the Great has fallen. And many people have had dreams of the Statue of Liberty fallen, going underneath water, um... 
Uh, I have two. So, and then the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever night or and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whoever receives the mark of his name hmm well forever and ever seems like hell to me because that's a forever and ever thing and when you go into eternity that's forever and ever so, you take the mark, you get food. You take the mark, you get all these earthly benefits to live, right? But you go to hell, and there's no turning back. It's very clear in the Bible. This was Revelation 14, 8 through 11. Okay, Revelation 13, 15 through 18, or 6, 16 through 18, talks about it being implemented, and all of this deals with the digital system. Now, let's prevent that by accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whomsoever shall believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, there's been a question. Why did the thief on the cross go into eternity that day. His time was cut short. Jesus knew he was going to die, but he knew his heart. He said, unto you this day, you shall be in paradise with me. He didn't have to. He didn't have to read his Bible. He didn't have to witness to people. All he had to do was believe that he was the son of God. And there's a difference between believing on God and believing in God. He believed in Jesus. He believed who he truly was. He truly believed he was the son of God. And he was sorrowful for his sins. He knew what he did was wrong. But Jesus saw something that we as other people can be naked to the eye to he's a thief or he's a murderer or she's a drug addict she's a prostitute he's a child molester god don't look at that he looks at the heart that's what he wants from you is your heart and that's what matters ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 through 13 for by grace you have been saved through Faith and faith is taking God at his word and that not of yourselves. Okay. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. You're not going to sit there and boast. Oh, I go to church. I read my Bible. I witnessed this person. I went out in public and I'm going to record me witnessing to this person and I'm going to post it all over and blah, blah, blah. No, it is a true repentance. It is true by faith. It is through faith, okay, that we are saved. Therefore, remember that you, or, or excuse me, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. He set a roadmap for our life, exactly how we should live. Love one another as ourselves, okay? Love is the greatest commandment. Okay, he tells us repentance. He tells us belief. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, John 3, 16, you know, Ephesians 2, 8 through 8, 8 through um, 10. I mean, it, it's, it's just right here. He tells us what to do. It's not of works. It's not our works that get us into heaven. It is our faith in Jesus Christ. It is believing in him. It's not believing on him. It's not believing, oh, I believe Jesus is the son of God and walking on. No, it is a lifestyle change. Like he said, we are set to walk in his ways. But what was the difference with the thief on the cross? His time was up. 
He didn't get the chance to do all this. We do. You see what I'm saying? His destination is not your destination. But we're all designed to do the same thing. Doing the will of the Lord. Walking in the ways of the Lord. Therefore, remember, you once Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision made in the flesh by hands, that at the time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. We're no longer bound by the law, okay? We are no longer uncircumcised. We, circumcised is being cut off from this world into a new creation, okay? Romans 10.4, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. We are no longer under the law. Anybody who states that we are has distorted God's word. False prophet, stay away from them. Anyone who preaches that you can lose your salvation is a false prophet. Anyone, doesn't matter how many followers they have, they have distorted the gospel. You are saved through faith, through grace. Okay? We are saved through faith by grace. Now I'm going to read you how here in Matthew, I, I want to get every word of this correct. I don't want to paraphrase. I don't want to miss a word. This is utter importance. So those who sit there and say about the mark or about being saved, this is what you are called to do. Matthew 6, I say this almost every video, 19 through 21, do not, and this is in red, this is Jesus speaking, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, which is the mark, where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, Satan comes in to kill and destroy and to steal. And that's what he does with the mark. He deceives. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart be also. If you take that mark, your heart is not for treasures in heaven. They're for treasures on earth. He who denies me before man, I shall deny you before the father. Accept Jesus Christ before it's too late. Do not conform to the things of this world. Everything is going to be destroyed like that in a moment. Right now, it feels great to be in sin. Sin feels good because you get what you want instantaneously and waiting and having patience. You go through trials and tribulations and it sucks, but you do it all for the glory of God. He who hated me shall hate you also. What we do now is 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 going to be the greatest reward in heaven. You are storing up your palace for everything that you're doing. You're building, you're building your community, you're building your the bricks that hold the foundation of your house, the roof, the windows, and then you have your furniture, and then and then you have your desire. My desire is to paint heaven and to give it upon Jesus upon his throne. Okay, I've dreamt of it. All my desires. All these things I do for him isn't for salvation. It is for my rewards. It's for my crowns. Don't you want that? That is so much greater than having the things of this earth. That's just going to disappear. Accept Jesus Christ now before it's too late because he is coming back. God bless.